Welcome to the Empower Me Show with Pam Bright. This show is all about honoring you as a spiritual being, having a human experience. You are here for a reason, and it's no mistake that you are here on earth right now. Spirit has guided you to this very moment in time, so you could hear the messages Pam is about to share with you. She is a multi-dimensional healer, light language channel, transformation coach, wife and mother, committed to helping you discover the tools and practices to empower you to live the best life you can. You get to choose the spirit path you take. You can connect to the spiritual guidance already all around you. Get ready to live a fully empowered life. This is the Empower Me Show. Welcome back to another episode of the Empower Me Show with Pam Bright. I am so glad to see you once again. There are many of you who have followed me since 2021, which is amazing. Thank you very much. I love you to pieces. <laughs> and those of you who are joining me for the first time, um, this is the show where I celebrate you as a human being who is having an amazing spiritual journey and a spiritual being who's having an amazing human journey. And if you haven't brought those two essences together into the wholeness of who you are, I recommend and highly encourage you to bring those essences of humanity and spiritual oneness together because it's quite a ride to do those things together in one body. <laughs> I talk about the full body wellness system as a whole, and that's where we bring everything together into one and integrate it all together so that it works. And I can tell you more about that uh, later in the show, another time. It'll just continue to keep coming back into this space of really owning and acknowledging ourselves as human beings having spiritual experiences and spiritual beings having human experiences, because that's, I think, the name of the game in this time of history. So welcome once again. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Pam Bright, and we are here with our higher selves. This is our representation of that behind me. I'm going to move a little bit so you can see that it is the chakra system. We have chakra centers, seven of them in our bodies. There are more than that, but seven major ones that go from the top of the head all the way down the spine, and they are energy centers to connect to all of the spiritual essences that we have available to us at any given time. So again, welcome to the show. I will be channeling today. I will be connecting to your spirit guides, teachers, and angels, as well as my own and any others that want to enter into the space. We don't discriminate one from another. I just open and ask for the highest and best love and light energy that wants to assist humanity right now to come through me for you on this show. So welcome. I have my crystals with me. These are my anchor points. This one is a partnership uh, stone. It's two stones together. There's This is uh, clear quartz. And it reminds me that we are in partnership one with another. And this one is my selenite which assists me in reminding me that my body is full of light and it runs up and down my spine and then it emanates out throughout my body systems and out into the world. So again, welcome to this space. And before we move on, I'm going to actually ground us together as a team, <laughs> spirit team, as well as human team and community and bring in all of our guidance together into this space. If you can, close your eyes. If you cannot do that safely, then go ahead and just listen to my voice, and it will come through and give you what you need right now. 
creator of all that is, the one who lives and breathes within all things. We now thank you for our lives. We thank you for this day. And we now ask that you who live and breathe within everything, every form that exists on this planet Earth, come into every form that exists here to shine your light on us and allow us to remember who we are as a spirit in form. And we now ask the Earth Mother who allows us to live on her, on her body. Her body is a living, breathing entity. And we thank her for allowing us to have our existence here on the earth plane. And we ask that she give us everything that we can possibly hold with the energy of her, her essence. We thank her for her life. We thank her for reminding us that we have chosen this incarnation in 2023. And we now ask that every system, the angelic system, all of the galactic systems, every planet that exists in our Milky Way, as well as every other galaxy, every star that exists in our galaxy as well as every other star in every other galaxy we thank you for being here now and with all of that we ask anything specific that we each need right now we ask that aloud for ourselves or within our own hearts knowing that as we ask we receive in this moment, we receive what we need. Anasatera atara ye, e tada sedu baba de dundu se adaite. Unde sarabae du du na de na e na sana maneki a baba ite. Tu na sana ma ye. and as this energy is coming in, I'm feeling the spiral happening in my hands as well as in the energy field of each one of us. So al allow the beautiful spiral energy to come in through the top of your head and entering into your body, going around your spine as well as inside of it, bringing the light in. And then the energy from the Earth Mother is also coming in, bringing her energies up through her body as well as into our bodies. And as you feel all of that wonderful sounding energy that comes in, this is Pam Bright language that comes through me for you. I am simply the transmitter from the energies that come in. Thank you for receiving. And we now ask the support systems of all of the invisible friends that we love 
dearly to bring us what we need today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for this moment. Thank you for our lives. Thank you for what we are here to receive. Thank you for what we get to learn today. And with that, knowing that you're in the perfect place right now, take a deep breath in and out and welcome back. Hi guys. So those of you who are joining for the first time or maybe you haven't seen it for a while, this is what I do every single episode is that I bring in the energies that are needed in this moment for you. And that's different every time because the energies shift and change and, and move as you move and grow and change and transform. So that's what happens whenever we get together is that I connect in with the energies that will support you. And those of you who are very logical and try and figure everything out through your brains, um, I know that it's a challenge for you. So let me reassure you that it's okay, that you're okay, and that you'll receive what you need, even if this is new information to you, even if it's new energy to you, it's all right. Um, we don't, we don't, get to graduate from earth school unless we learn some things. So this is our opportunity to bring in the new into this now. So let's see what I can do for you right now. Let's ask what wants to happen for these beautiful people. Okay, so what came in a little bit before the show is what's coming in again is I want to give a shout out to Barbara Worsley, I believe her name is. She is the East Coast Dragon Lady <laughs> that I've uh, just have having the privilege of getting to know. And she and I are connecting um in a beautiful way. And I get to do some more connecting with her uh, this weekend. And so what I'm told, the dragons want to be acknowledged for being the West Coast <laughs> dragon lady today. <laughs> um, so I work with dragons as, I don't know if any of you knew that, but I do. And they work with the karmic energies and they are, they work in the earth and they work with uh, the karmic release processes that I have been gifted with to help you with um, in on your spiritual journey. This is the year. Um, this is the, not just the year, but this time of history that we're alive is the lifetime where many of us um get an opportunity to release the karmic bondage that we have carried from lifetime to lifetime to lifetime. And up till now may have not had an opportunity to release. And so this is our chance to find the people, find the gifts, the people that have the energy, the knowing of how to release things um, on the planet. So this is one of the avenues to be able to release is through the dragons. The dragons are amazing creatures and they exist. They always have existed. They just are not currently on the physical planet earth. Um, they work with us on the physical planet earth, but they are from another dimension. And so they work in the energies of what I call the in-between. 
or the upside down if you are a <laughs> if you are a stranger things fan um but they are in the invisible realms and so the earth dragons that i work with there are two of them um they do have some onlookers that tend to hold the energy <clears throat> as i call them ga guardians so they often will just kind of hold the energy in place as the dragons that are working specifically with you will come in and uh, release karma. Um, there are also some other dragons that some of my clients are working with in the etheric realms, the angelic realms, as well as the galactic realms. Um, and my understanding is that they are living on what they call islands. And so there are many of them. I'm hearing like there's 10 different islands that they have their existence on. So take that for the information that I received. Take it in whatever form it fits for you. And know that that energy is available to you to use that, to receive from them. They are here to help us. And so they wanted to be acknowledged for that. And Barbara, thank you for allowing yourself to be visible on the East Coast so that those that follow you can get what you need. they need from you today. Many blessings. And so as we connect to these beautiful dragons, that have made themselves known they want you to know that their fire will not hurt you many people think of fire as burning and hurting and it painful and yes the burning happens because it needs to be released whatever the form is that we're ready to let go of. And the message is you will not be hurt by this burning up of the old. So allow yourself to receive that. And if you want a process for burning up those old contracts, then get with this channel outside of this program and she can assist you with that. All right, so that's the first thing <laughs> that wanted to happen is that the dragons wanted to be acknowledged. So welcome back to this time and space. Thank you dragons for assisting with our transmission, with our transformation today. And those of you who feel called, to work with the dragon energy and uh, want to continue releasing the old contracts, the old oaths and agreements that no longer serve you, I definitely get a hold of me um, outside of this program and I can assist you with that. Uh, let's see, what else wants to happen today? Okay, water, I just went look, looking at my water. So if you haven't had any water today, water is your friend. Water is your friend, especially when it comes to allowing energy to flow through your system. It is a conduit for electric, electromagnetic energies to um, be able to be transmitted and received. So to have some water. All right. All right, so the full body system wellness uh, coaching program wants to be acknowledged again. So we'll bring that in. Again, this is simply another avenue for you to allow yourself to be supported. The full body system wellness um, system, if you will, or program, that coaching program that um, got created back in 2020 is now being updated and fleshed out and really, really made into a beautiful foundation 
and foundation for growth. We acknowledge ourselves as human and we embrace that humanity in this program. We don't ignore being human. We don't set it aside. <laughs> we, we don't endure it, although many of us have endured being human. Um, this program is actually about embracing our humanity, allowing ourselves to celebrate our humanity as well as feel all of the feelings around what being a human actually feels like and and what we believe about it and what we how we interact with others and how we how our our feeling self um dictates all of our circumstances around us so as we look at all of those different things in our lives of being human we look look at what are we reacting to? What are we running away from? What are we pushing aside, wishing that was different, um, hoping that some magic pill or magic potion will shift us out of this cer current circumstance that we're in? So we look at all of that and bring in tools and tips that can assist us with this human experience. And we also bring in all of the spiritual support that's everywhere. There's so much now, folks. There's so much everywhere now to assist us. We've got music, we've got books, we've got movies, we've got we've got direct communication with um, our spirit guides. We've got, um, we've got energy tools to assist us in our bodies, chakra mats and bioelectric magnetic um, things to lay on. And just you name it, we probably have it in the world somewhere. So I'm just really receiving that um, this is the time to really allow ourselves to explore what if i if you were to really take on yourself as a project your life as a project what kind of support would you need or desire for that and what i'm hearing from my guides that have assisted me in creating this foundational program. What I'm hearing is that all of these things are available to assist you. So it's like a networking coaching platform for you to get what you need. So that's the information that I have for you about the full body system wellness program. So we bring in spiritual tools, we bring in uh, human physical body tools. We bring in mind uh, techniques. We bring in um, energy techniques like tapping and brain gym and, um, you know, movement exercises, all kinds of stuff to really help you with that. So if that's something that interests you, please let me know and we'll get you um, more information about that. Um, let's see here. What else wants to happen today for you? Oh, okay. So I went right to this little guy. I'm going to show you. It sparkles. As you see, this is called pyrite. And this is my reminder that we are all <laughs> a part of the creation of our abundance. So this is my abundance stone. It sparkles, it's gold. It is magnetic. It is part of the earth. So when I connect in with the earth and with this pyrite stone, 
I am reminded of the wealth that I am, the wealth of knowledge, the wealth of courage, the wealth of information, the wealth of creativity and um, infinite possibilities by connecting in with this stone. So again, let me show you. As you can see, it is sparkly and pretty and it's curved as well. So it's kind of like a little bed. So imagine yourself laying on or in a recliner of gold. Just imagine that you're laying on a bed or a recliner or a chair of gold. Sparkly, beautiful, yummy gold essence. Feel that gold underneath you, surrounding you, filling you up with its energy, with its beautiful essence. This gold actually is assisting you in receiving so as we connect in with this gold, we connect in with our ability to receive. Allow yourself the ability to receive. Is there a block that is keeping you from receiving? Are you a person that tends to push away <laughs> receiving? Do you allow yourself to take compliments from other people? Do you allow yourself to receive free gifts from others? Do you allow yourself to enjoy a beautiful flower because it is a gift from the universe to you? Let's bring that in energy in. Feel that gold inside of yourself and outside of yourself like a water fountain of beautiful, sparkly gold light. Coming in with that spiral going through your body as well as all around your body. All right, so 
We've been going for about half an hour, folks. So whatever you're getting right now, if you're feeling charged by that, or you're feeling unsure about that, or you're feeling like unsettled or wanting more specific information and specific guidance for you, you can call me at 1-800-930-2819 on this phone line. And I would be glad to talk to you and give you any assistance that you need today. Your guides are here for you. Your, your guidance and energy and healing is really all for the receiving. So you simply need to just ask and say help and then guidance comes. That's how it works. So this is the time for you if you want it. You can also use this visual behind me as your way of connecting to your higher self. Your higher self is the one that is the most connected to the God source. It is your soul that is connected to your higher self. Your higher self is connected to the God source. That's my understanding of the kind of the the connection process with that. And I have all of these different tools to help you with the visual of that. For those of you who don't have eyes, physical eyes to see, I will share with you what I'm showing. The rest of you, this one in one hand is the reminder of the blue, which is the throat chakra, the oceans, the rivers, the streams, the water is the conductor of the emotional body. And then this one is clear. You can see through it. And these are called, why are they called? <laughs> I just lost the name of them. Oh boy. These are new stones to me. They come from the, I believe they come from the hot lava from the volcanoes. But boy, it, the name is escaping me. So those of you who are connected to that energy, let remind me of what that's called because I don't remember. Sometimes I get into the world of spirit and I forget my, <laughs> my speaking, <laughs> my words in English. Um, Anyway, this stone is a triangle, and so it reminds me of, or a pyramid, reminds me of connecting to source and having a foundation of that's planted on the earth plane. And so, uh, and you can totally see through this, which is really beautiful. Um, really beautiful. All right, so uh, stones are great. Any of you that are connected to um, crystals or gems from the earth, uh, you know that they have energy for you. They have information for you. Um, they are, they hold a lot of history. And so if you can get a hold of any of them, um, they will they will find you, <laughs> they will teach you, they will actually uh, find you when you didn't even know that why they, sh they come in to assist you, but they do. And so you can start having a conversation with them about why are you here? I'll share a couple others with you here. This is my fluorite, my big pyramid, my obelisk, <laughs> if you will. Um, it's really solid. It's green and purple and black. And it's a really firm foundation for um, reminding me about the earth plane, reminding me that I'm here, that I have massive support. And this one here is my uh, uh, selenite crystal palace which I often will go inside of and do some dreaming there, some uh, manifesting work. And uh, definitely, again, if you want to do more of that, you want to do some more uh, journeying work, um, that's really powerful stuff. 
And I know YouTube has a lot of that. So you can go to YouTube and get pretty much anything that you want if you, did, you didn't even know that you wanted it. But uh, it's a really good resource for finding great music and finding good information on there. I also, of course, can assist you with that journeying process and meditation. And our minds are the best tool we have, one of the best tools. Sometimes our minds can get really scattered and we have a hard time focusing. Um, and like anything else, our minds can be trained to assist us in a way that works for us the best. Um, I learned visualization early on um, in my spiritual awakening. And it was really even before I knew what spiritual awakening was and um, just wanted to explore, you know, what, what is my connection to God? What do I believe in? What do I even want? And I got connected to different teachers that helped me with exploring those concepts. One of the women was my first massage therapist. And she was very connected to Shakti Gawain, who is an author. And she wrote a book called Creative Visualization. And in that book, she talks about, you know, visualizing what you want, um, imagining, using your imagination um, to explore that. And now we know visualization as a part of um, the process of, <laughs> okay, it just left. Um, Joe Dispenza works with the law of attraction. There we go. The law of attraction deals a lot with visualization and, and speaking into existence what you want. So the power of your words as well as the power of your emotions and the power of imagery really, really helps. Sometimes we bring in the power of sound, as in the toning that you heard through my voice. Uh, you can use a bell or a rattle. I'm going to bring my bell here. Hopefully you can hear it a little bit. Sometimes it comes through. And sometimes it's a little bit challenging, but we'll see how it does today. Many, many people will use uh, Tibetan bowls or crystal bowls or rattles, uh, drums to affect the vibrational body with sound to move particles, move blocks, um, you know, allow us to come into a place of introspection and grounded energy that is available to you right now is bring it right into right now. So again, you can call or chat, whichever you prefer. Uh, we've got about 20 minutes from what I can see on my thing. Oh, we have Gina. Hello, Gina. How are you? I'm great. Good to talk to you. How are you doing today? Um, just listening to your show. I enjoy it. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. So this is the show where, uh, especially this episode, is where I open to the energies that are available for folks for healing, for blessing, for prayer, for um, an energy transmission, for really coaching, for anything that they um, need in the moment that would assist them in their lives, especially their transformational 
lives. So for you, is there anything on your mind, anything that you're feeling like you could use some assistance with today? Yes. Um, I just, um, I've been trying to figure out how I can become <clears throat> um, a better coach to a very good friend of mine that I ran. I found after years of looking for him. Um, and I just wanted to be able to, um, to be able to help support him when he needs help and know that I'm there if he ever needs somebody to talk to and, um, and pray that he, uh, he would like to join in trying to help me start my gift shop. Beautiful. All right. Great. So, um, so may I speak? the name of this person to those that are listening. His name is Bobby. Wonderful. So Bobby and Gina, we ask creator now to bring Bobby and Gina into this beautiful vortex of energy that we are holding here at transformation talk radio. And we ask that these beings of light and love now come in fully to support this reunion of Gina and Bobby together. And we ask that the soul connection, the souls have found each other. We now ask that the higher selves of Gina and Bobby now come into this space to unite and to guide the path that has been laid out for them. And so Gina, are you watching my show so that you see the visual behind me? I certainly am. Okay. So there's, this is the um, picture of the chakra system. There are colors there that are in the body and those are energy centers that go out to the support that's always available to us. And so your higher self is connected to the God source. And the God source is the one, I believe, the one that lives and breathes within everything in form on the planet. And so we're going to connect you with that. You're already connected, but we're going to do it consciously now. And we're going to bring in Bobby's higher self as well. And the higher selves of this beautiful creation of the shop that you want to start. And all of the different support structures that are wanting to get set up for that. All right. So I'm going to use some light language for you to bring that home into this now. It's simply allow it to come into your body system without thinking. The brain will try and figure it out. Just let it step aside and just receive this. Anasane una naise naya nahei. Haya neya hoe hinaya. Haye. Haye. So I'm getting a lot of angelic um, support that's showing up. Um, I The way that they come in is that I see, first I see like the temple that they tend to live within <laughs> and they do a lot of healing work there and they tend to show me um, this visual when they're present. And then they, then I see their wings and I see them around the temple as well as beings within the temple. And so I see both you and Bobby in the temple receiving a healing from them and they're like um they're infusing you with their energy their support and what i'm also hearing is that 
as you're doing that work, it's really, really important that you stay grounded. And so um, we're going to bring in the earth um, elements as well so that you can really stay grounded in on the earth plane because it's really vital that you stay grounded on the earth plane as you're creating your future with Bobby. Okay. So we're going to bring in the elements of the earth and any totem animals that you're connected to totem spirits and the elements of the, of the fairy kingdom all of the elemental kingdoms. Nakarapeta that uta ade u u na na zeda i ane u da baya dunda ye unda zane no ye aya we hi ana ye hi. Okay, so what I'm hearing as well is that both of you get to come together as equals. So there is no hierarchy, there's no need to fix. There's no need to control. There's no need to um, try and make anything um, happen because of a need for, for that. That might have been in your past, something that's been lacking. And both of you have grown a lot. Uh, during your lives and now you get to come back together as whole and complete beings that have learned a lot and now you're coming together to share that with each other and so we bring in the beautiful specialists for this reunion and your knowledge and your ability to know who you are is going to be the way to assist others. And so we allow that to be so in this now. All right, so they're also telling me to let you know that the best way to be a coach or a helper for anyone in the world, be a teacher, is to take care of you first. Make sure that you are incorporating and integrating everything that you know inside of yourself so that then you can be a healthy support structure for someone else. All right. So I any other questions? With that. <laughs> Anything else that I can assist you with, my dear? Um, no, I just uh, I just thought I could use some advice on how to become a coach to somebody, to Bobby, to show him that that he uh, he may have complications in his life, and I may have complications in my life. And um, I just wanted to to see how I go about becoming um, a guide to him, as well as to teach him things, and then him me teach him some things, as well as him teach me some things, and see if we can come up on on a on a higher and happier ground. Of course. So yes, that's absolutely um, a great uh, thing to put in the forefront for yourself. And you and I should talk after this program to see how that can um, come to fruition. Okay. So in the meantime, okay. know that you are on the right path. Know that you are absolutely supported in every way and that you simply get to open up to 
all of the infinite possibilities of support that's always available to you. I appreciate that so much. All right, honey. Well, have a wonderful day and we'll talk soon, okay? Okay, thank you so much. Take care of yourself, Gina. Bye-bye. All right, folks. So we are winding up this uh, time together. We have a little bit more time uh, together. Um, know that we are here still for you. And so if you want to call in, you can at 1-800-930-2819. Or you can also uh, text in the chat if that's easier for you and say, hey, can you help me out with this thing? Um, I've had people actually chat in the chat, hey, I could use some prayer right now. Um, again, I've said that I'm a minister, so that's part of what I do is I allow myself to be a transmitter for that. So I connect in with the God source, praying for you, praying for us, praying for the collective, as well as letting the energies flow through. So um, whatever your belief system is, it's allowed here. <laughs> I don't discriminate. I allow um, whatever wants to happen to happen. So um, if you have a need, let me know. Um, in the meantime, it's really important um, when you're doing any kind of energy work, um, any kind of service work for others, that you disconnect from that energy so that you can bring yourself back in, okay? And I'm doing that now for Gina so that Gina can have all of Gina back. And I'm doing that for myself so that I can have all of me back. And the way that I do that is that I say the following mantra, I am Pam, I am only Pam. Only Pam's energy is allowed in Pam's body. I am Pam. And then I do an energy sweep down the front of me and back out, okay? For those of you who are not watching the presentation here or the show, what I did is that I swept the front of my body. And if you feel like, oh, there's still stuff on me that is not mine, you can just brush the front of your body a little bit, down your arms, around your head, and release it out because everything is energy. So we want to bring ourselves back home into ourselves. So I'm going to claim me back by saying, I am Pam. I am is a powerful statement. I am the great I am. I am is what the God source is also called the great I am. So we bring I am into self. And we claim all of I am back to Pam. However you want to use those words is great. I just happened to receive that mantra uh, years ago from one of my dear psychic friends that I first worked with. And she gave that to me to use. And it's been very powerful for me. And hopefully it'll help you as well. And so those of you who are seeking, uh, what's the next step for me? Um, that's a great question to ask, especially at the beginning of a new year. I always think of the beginning of a new year as my opportunity to assess where I've been, think about what I want in the future, and then look at what might be in the way <laughs> of getting what I want. So that's a process that I know intimately that I've used for years that I would love to assist you with as well if it's something that's up your alley that you want to take on. Um, as I mentioned to the last caller, it is something that I do is that I assist people in really getting clear about their vision and purpose, about what they want in life. Gina mentioned uh, coaching. It is something that I am creating is a coaching platform so that as you go through your own coaching experience in the program I've developed, the full body system wellness program, um, then after you've done that with me, then you'll have an opportunity to certify yourself so that you can then 
take that on for other people. So something to look forward to. If you want to take it on yourself, let me know and we'll talk more about that. Uh, you can reach me at brightbutterflynetwork.com. You can also reach me here at Transformation Talk Radio. Um, say, hey, I want to connect with Pam with that show. <laughs> and here I am. So all kinds of ways to connect to me. I love you guys. As always, this show goes so fast that we're at the end already. Um, but I wanted to let you know that I am here for you. I am, that's my life. I am here for you. So please connect to me if you want me to support you. It would be my honor and privilege. Have a beautiful day. Know that you're loved. Know that your life is up to you. And we'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Thank you for listening to the Empower Me Show with Pam Bright on Transformation Talk Radio. Tune in to learn more about living a fully empowered life. Remember that your life is up to you and you can choose the spiritual path you are on. There is spiritual energy and wisdom in everything and everyone around you. Listen carefully for what the universe is trying to tell you in every moment. You are already being guided along your journey. Call upon your spirit guides anytime you need help with anything. Know that you are safe in every moment, even if it seems that you are not. For more information about Pam Bright, visit brightbutterflyenterprises.com or email theempowermeshow at gmail.com. Thank you very much for listening. We hope to see you next week.